Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the single player world. Today I am in such a good mood, I'm really really ready to do some building. We didn't do much building in the last episode, I'm really feeling like a bit of building, you know me, I build all the time and I really just I have this itch to build today. And I've got a really cool plan for what we're going to be building, it's not actually here, it's going to be all the way over there, brand new building. We'll, we'll be working on this one over time, slowly adding things in. I want to just finish off a few of the, the little smaller features before we go back into it. You can see there's still this wall to do. There's quite a few things to do on the roof just to polish it off before we keep going. I don't want to get too far ahead in that and I also don't want to carry on that with that too long in this episode. So what I want to do is I want to start off where we left off the last episode and we'll start off on that. And that was my cool idea that I said I had, which I was about to start off with. And that was a brand new light post. We didn't have time to do it in the last episode. So I want to start off in this episode with this light post. All right, so here's the light post. We're gonna get started on it right now. And I've got a few things that we do have issues with with this. First of all, I've decided to use acacia wood. I've also decided to use sea lanterns. And you're probably thinking I'm a bit crazy using sea lanterns in this, probably, but you know what? Let's let's see how we go and we'll decide from there. So first of all, I've I've tried a few things. I couldn't work out something that I really did like. I had a few different ideas that I thought would work. Obviously they hadn't. And I just went through in a creative world and I just kept pumping out ideas one after another until I came up with something that actually, in my opinion, worked. And I think this this has the potential to perhaps create a little bit of uh, confusion, I guess, with it. Maybe some of you guys will like it. Some of you guys probably won't. Uh, but you know what? I'm down to take the risk of it being a bit of a weird build. And the reason for that is because, you know what? We don't get anywhere if we just do safe builds. If I do everything safe, it'll all look the same. And that's not really too fun. So. It's always worth a bit of a try. And also we, we do have a little, little bit of uh, working out to do here with where we want the height of this thing to be. I'll just do that for now, but one of, no, I'll put one of those there. And this is where it gets kind of a little bit weird is I'm using two different types of oak, of wood, sorry. But I think that this does work. I, I'm actually, I'm not even sure if I put one of those. Let's, let's do one of these. Don't even know if I did that in Incredible, but that's all right, we'll do it now. Change things up a little bit. And I need two of those. I actually would like a third one on the back there, but that's all right. If we don't have it, we don't need it. In fact, because we've used these over here, I might as well just do this here for a change. Just for a second, if we don't like it, we don't have to use it. And over here, we'll just go around there. Now, a few people did come up with some ideas for these horses. One idea which I think was technically the best idea, I guess, in terms of how good it would look and how well it would work, would be using barrier blocks, which Honestly, is the best way of doing it if we had to use what we currently have. Uh, but I'm not going to be using anything like that in the game. And I know the comment actually mentioned that they know I don't like to use that stuff. And uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, but it was still worthwhile commenting, I guess, and worthwhile checking if I would. And even using a payment as a diamond block in uh, overall for this comment. Uh, I thought about stuff like that because, for instance, we use diamond blocks for the patron heads. Uh, but as a matter of fact, the Patreon heads, I kind of feel are the one special exception to this rule. I don't want to go too far out and start going that way. Because you guys know how it's a slippery slope. You start doing the one, then you've got the, the next build, which a head or maybe a barrier block would really help with. And then all of a sudden, you've got a few builds where you've just sacrificed diamond blocks for. And your world stops becoming vanilla. So I want to, I want to keep it as vanilla as possible. I feel like I was forgetting to take something there, but that's all right. I, I thought I had something else I forgot to bring. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't have this happening to me where I just get into a whole bunch of builds like that and uh, and lose the vanilla feel. But great, great suggestion nonetheless. So I just want to quickly put that there, one of these here, and we'll be done with this because once I've got that there, not that there, that right there, and that there. And by the way, also another thing which was really cool about the last episode before I continue on with it a bit too long, but last episode you guys seemed to enjoy the little bit of a change it looks like, and I'm, I'm glad about that. And no one seemed to be too upset about those. Yeah, I definitely have to do this higher, for sure. <laughs> uh, but that's the general idea. Ah, I know what I forgot. I realize what I forget. Because it's not looking too good right now. I've got something which could improve this, and that is adding a few of these to probably just under there. And I also want to change that one out for Acacia, by the way. Let's just do that right now. Just a, a little bit of a, a thing. This is actually quite a quick, easy build. I'm not going to lie. It's, uh, if, if we have to put these all around the city, I'm, I'm very happy to do it. I want to put this one higher, but I'll just show you guys, or maybe even two higher, uh, what it looks like. And then I'll, I'll carry on and you guys will probably catch it at some point in the web, in this episode. And can I end a pull up there without falling off? Perfect. 
All right. There. There, there, there. There. Got him. And let's check this out. So this is the general idea, by the way. It, it's definitely too short. And it also needs maybe some of these over here. Like that. And I was trying a few other things where they were, yeah, you know what, they'll work. Let me put it a bit higher, that'll definitely work. But I was trying a few other ideas with this, and it seemed that just doing the basic, simple one with just a single block was a bit too boring for me, and I wanted to change things up. And I think this is, this is something that'll work. I hope, I hope it works. Let me know what you think about it, because as I say, it could swing either way, and I definitely, definitely need to change that one over for an oak. Before I forget, that's what it's looking like. I've actually just been doing some work over here, and I'll show you what we're up to. Uh, but that's the height I've gone for. I think it'll work quite well. Maybe even moving this out one more block would work, but we'll see how we go. We need a few more things to compare it to. For instance, when we make the road a bit larger, when we start making turns and things in the road, we'll have to look at that. But let's get started on the rest of this episode. Well, the, the main build of this episode. And that is this area over here, which is very underwhelming, and I understand that completely. But this is the outside dock area. So we've got the in inner dock here, which is where you'll get your fishing boats, your smaller co cargo boats that can fit in here to go here. But remember that big ship? If you guys don't remember the big ship, you might be fairly new to the channel, in which case I would recommend you look at the ship because the ship is absolutely massive. And we need a spot to dock that plate, that ship in this place. And this is where that dock is going to be. This is going to be the very stopping point of the ship. And what I want to do here is I want to build a crane that goes over here and takes stuff off the ship, puts it on the dock and allows it to go get transported onto the city. Of course, there'll be a lot of larger items on there, so we'll have to make sure we've got enough space. And that's why I've decided to go, I think, five blocks wide here. And then also make this little piece over here, which is going to be the dock house. Oh, well, not the dock house, sorry, the crowd, the house for the crane. So basically, the person who operates the crane will be in a little spot over here where it'll be moving the crane around. We'll also have some, maybe a little, a little bit of an office -y thing in there. I guess that's really the main thing you could put into that. It's not going to be huge. But I've got a very interesting thought for this today, and I'm just going to get started on building this. And my thought is, I haven't done a build like this before, where I have a little bit of an area at the bottom, where there's actually a little bit of a, a veranda, I guess you'd call it. And then we'll have on top of it over here... So we've got, uh, let me just quickly build this so I can, I can explain it to you. All right, so these little things over here are going to be supporting this. We'll have the door pushed back, but then we'll have the second story being pushed up over here. If that maybe makes a little bit of sense, because that's what I'm thinking will be something that'll be a little bit more interesting to any other build that we've done before, because I've never done that. I tend to always put the door at the front and then build the house backwards and you start getting into a rut if you don't actually notice what you're doing there. So I've picked up that I tend to do that and I decided this will be a great way of changing it. And surely the sun's low enough, but you know what, let's just admire that purple sky, the cloud horse, moving over the sun, that surely is down. It certainly is. All right, so quickly, hurry up, let's sleep and we're out. Okay, then what I, what I was saying is that'll come over that way. We'll have our door back there. And then we'll have the second story here with a little bit of an area for the person who operates this crane to be able to look out of. Maybe it'll be out on the top here. I don't know. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work that out today, of course. And let's just do that there. And we'll do the very last one. So what I want to do with this now is I want to add in this top piece. And then we're going to start thinking about how we're detailing it at the least. Or you may even maybe just starting detailing uh, right now, not today, we'll definitely finish this area, but yeah, right now I was thinking that would be a good idea. So let me just think about it. If we're going to do this over here, we probably want to do something that'll support this next level. And I think a good way of doing that will be to do something like this, some little archways over here. Uh, this is all just kind of me freestyling it. And really what I'd be doing in any of these builds, and I'm, I tend to cut this out, but you know what? Let's let's keep it in for an episode. Check how this goes, uh, because maybe it, maybe someone will gain something from it or something along those lines. Hopefully, and then what we can do is maybe something like this. And as I say, it's it's not necessarily going to work. It's a very rough sort of thing, but we're going to chisel it down, add in a few little pieces here and there, and eventually we should get this to work for us. Just do that there, and we'll come out another one here. There, cool. So that should be all right. I'm going to keep this at one height here. So what, what might be natural, at least, was for me to just go and make this stick out, which could actually look kind of cool. And this used to be a thing I used to do all the time. I always used to push out my second story a little bit wider than my first story. If you guys saw my very first world, I used to love doing that. But really, 
Uh, I think we're gonna do a little bit, a little, little bit different. I want this over here, this piece that I've just done here, to become the trim on the outside. We'll do this. Let's just leave an extra layer. So we've got one level here, which is gonna be the mid floor level, which is sort of like what we did there. But if you guys don't know, that's all right. I'll explain it to you. Uh, the idea with this layer is. We've got this level we can put blocks on, and we've also got this level we can put blocks on. So this one here could, for instance, be the ceiling height of that roof inside there, and this could be the floor height. So we don't have to use the same block for floor and ceiling, uh, which is something I tend to find myself doing very often. And another thing I'm trying to pull myself away from. So let's do that there. And one more, and we'll go and double check the height on this one. But this is pretty much how every one of my builds go. I go, do this, step out. Look at that. Now that's looking sort of boring because it's all just flat. You've got these straight lines everywhere. Not very, very interesting. So what I think I'll do, because it's actually working weirdly enough, if you guys, uh, you guys don't really see where I'm seeing this maybe right now, but I think that this over here still being in a line can still work, but it just requires us to dress up each one of these connection pieces over here a bit over there. And then of course have a little bit of the window over here, which will which will really distract from it looking like that. Not too much done in between here. I don't like what I'm doing here. I just thought I'd bring you guys in. Now that I've got some idea of where I'm going. So do you see what I mean about dressing up that little piece there? Still got these straight, very vertical things going on, but just doing little things like making a bit of an archway over here. Let's just do that. So I've, I've made that now an arch over there. Put in some of these on the sides. It looks a little bit funny from the front here, but I guarantee you it will work. And then from the side here, of course, which is where we probably will be looking at this from, for the most part, of course, is over here. And I think this really does work. You see the arch kind of sticks out a little bit. And we've got the second layer up there. And one interesting thing about the second layer, which I don't normally do, is that little block in there is something I haven't done until this city. And if you have a look here, I've put it in there, put it in there. And it's just adding in that little bit of color that I never used to do. And that is also a great thing to have. And also plus the most important thing actually about it is it's given us an extra block to add in more blocks, more details, make it more exciting. Do something a little bit different, I guess, than our normal builds. Now, one thing before I get going, I need to show you what I'm thinking here is to adapt this roof style, which I want to use throughout the city. I want to add this in at least is this piece here always sticks out. Look at that. You can see these are all flat. And these stick out and I feel like that is actually quite a prominent part of this roof. Now the issue where this at least has an issue is that this sticks out already. But when I want to do this roof at the top here, it's just going to lie flat with those. And I think that will look very odd from here. Think of this, it's going odd there. It just lies flat with that. So I want to do a little bit more and I want to stick it out one more even further. And this is probably going to either work or it's going to fall flat on its face. And just like my enderpearl throw, that's a little trick, by the way. If you know your enderpearls is going to miss, do that. Then you you kind of safe for a little bit. It's uh, pro enderpearling right there. Or maybe just someone who always misses their enderpearls. Uh, I guess a bit of both. So let's go around here. Do this. And I want to push this out one more block. Hmm. Interesting choice now that I have. I could do one like... Let me just do a cobblestone block. I don't actually think this is going to work, but I'll try it anyway. One like that, and well, I guess it's going this way. We do this. Th let's do the middle. This, that, there. Then I guess that is the center of it. Just, it's so hard to think <laughs> when you're on the top here. Uh, there we go. And that, and also, I haven't, I haven't done too, too much building on camera recently, so it's, it's kind of odd for me to think, well while doing this stuff, but I think it'll actually work out all right if we get all of them in. So I'll do one, check it out. I'll put the other two in uh, and here we go. Let's, let's do this one. You know what? It's not actually too bad. It's definitely not bad. Not as bad as I was expecting. I think this is actually going to be all right. So what I can do here, because it's got this very sharp piece here. Here, we've already got them on a hotbar. Something like that. Okay, well, like that. Never mind. There and there. And that just creates this nice little shape. So let's go step out a bit. There we go. A nice little shape. I'll put the other two on and we'll see how that looks. There we go. Looking good, I think. 
So I'll pull these back here. I think that definitely has the shape that I was talking about. I'll fix up a few of these little odd bits. Now what we can do is quickly get into one of these. And by the way, one thing that I'm not doing now, which I am actually purposefully not doing, is thinking about how I'm doing these side pieces. I, I normally would probably have the little block over here to save me, I guess. But we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is once I've got this front piece done, I'm going to work out the side so that it doesn't influence me too much and I can get the best looking front, at least. This could be a bit of a backfire, though. Like, it could backfire at me because... I haven't planned ahead, which is something that's sort of good to do, but you know what, it might might just lead us to get some extra different sort of stuff going on here. What I want to do here is I want to put in some windows, so we'll go down one, two, this is floor level, if this is floor level, and I actually kind of like this bit of spruce in, which is not intentionally there for decoration's sake, maybe something like that, let's just make things a little bit different, I guess uh, you could say spruce it up a little. Uh, we'll do that there, do that there. There, I know it was horrible. Uh, but I guess it guess it's become a theme. <laughs> a theme over a few episodes now. Uh, we'll do that there, there, and maybe... I Actually, I don't know what I used for windows over there. We'll have to have a look at that. But let's, let's jump back here. It's too much... Definitely too much stone. Although, if I get rid of that top piece, it might not be too much stone. So, we'll get that in. Let's check what we did for windows, because that is important. White stained glass. Okay, I'll get the white stained glass. Look at that, that's looking really good there. It's kind of, I guess, getting this feel of the city. If you guys weren't feeling it just yet, maybe now you can see what's going on. And I think I've actually got to go all the way back to the main base for glass. But while we're at the main base, I've actually got something sort of weird and interesting to show you anyway. So I'll meet you guys right over there. This is the strange thing that I actually wanted to show you guys, which ties into this episode nicely. I actually came across this a while ago, and I don't know if you guys can tell what's weird about this. But I came across this issue quite a long time ago, and I've just now realized that I had it. I actually forgot about it. I screenshotted this, these coordinates quite a way away. I actually thought this was further away from our base than it really is. Uh, it looks like we're actually flying right now, but look at this. It appears that this area is meant to be a a guardian temple, a uh, what an ocean monument here, but there's no ocean monument, but these guys still spawn, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's actually as cool as clearing out an ocean monument, because I think this is a lot of area to clean out, but that is a pretty neat little thing for us to just go around and break these guys with the, with a the sword if we don't want to make, before we actually make a proper guardian farm. Oh, wow, that was sudden, <laughs> all of them spawning in. But I thought that was a little bit of an interesting thing because I've never seen anything like that. And it makes our life a little bit easier in the short term as well. But I'm not fighting any of them today. Today we are focusing on this and this, I've done quite a bit of work. You can't see it right now, but we're about to see it. Uh, what I've decided to do here, let me just quickly explain this, is I've left these two on each side like that. I really like it. I like that this one doesn't have a super high roof in the middle. We can still do it if we think it might need one, but I think it's all right. But what I like about this is leaving this part here blank, to some extent, we're going to do a little bit of work on it now, makes this look wider. I don't know if I'm the only one that's getting this feeling, but it's because, of course, there's none of these things to make it uh, look a little bit skinny. And I think that works very, very well. So let's end a pull over there. And trust me, I've got a lot more. Okay, well, I guess we're going to see the new stuff. I've just te <laughs> teleported right over there. So there we go. I've done the side here. Look at that. Just a very interesting shape. It's got its challenges, of course. The big challenge, which is actually why I'm hiding these here. Uh, those two are to distract you from the fact that these two pieces here, so that piece of clay over there, that whole strip there, is to balance out because this strip here is used on the back of that. So I've had to be smart about hiding it, and I think that's a pretty good way of hiding it there. I've also got this piece over here, which takes a whole different approach I guess to what we normally do using these vertical these horizontal supports in there just to break it up a little bit more so those are the sorts of things I've been up to in the past I guess it's taken me a little bit of time to get there but I thought I'd I thought I'd get a bit ahead in the episode just so that we don't get too stuck on the smaller details even though they are important uh we a lot of them are similar things and they're just repetitive there we go something like that we won't focus on it as well that one there because 
that's much of a muchness and we all probably take some feedback there and hopefully get a better product in the end. So let's get these parts down here done. I'm thinking something along these lines, at least a quite a bit of cobblestone would be good here. In fact, what might be good to stop the monotony of this cobblestone here is probably putting a bit of it over there because like doing that looks a little bit silly when it can't connect up on that block there. So something like that, maybe with something over there. That could maybe work. Let's just step back. Let's just take that out and then try a window in here. That could also work. See, we're just trying to make these walls not look boring. Getting there. Definitely an improvement. Maybe something like that and that. Yep, that'll work. Cool. So that's that's the sort of thing I'm I'm gonna be doing. This one here we can also I was gonna say we can leave blank, but maybe we try something a little bit different with this as well. We'll break this out. We'll leave it blank, but we'll try another block, which is a block I've used on that side over there. And it's kind of it's I guess it's kind of boring, but it's a bit of stone, but it might just make this area a little bit more interesting. We'll do that there, that there, and the last one. And by the way, just acknowledge a few smaller things. The roof, also not flat. We're doing interesting curves on the roofs just to break it up a bit as well. That just makes it a little bit more interesting than what we normally do as well. Just overall, I don't know if you guys have got the idea, but with my building, I'm just trying to make it a bit more different to how, I, how I've normally done it because I, I get myself into habits and I need to break them. So consciously figuring them out, I guess, the, the things I do all the time and then yeah, just fixing them up as I go. So that's that's pretty much what I'm, I'm into right now. Let me see. Do I have any more andesite? No. We can do the doorway. But this is pretty much me just taking you guys through the normal build as per usual. Something like that, I guess. Something like... Well, not as per usual, actually. I, I said that, but it's not what I meant. We actually... This is not per usual. This is a little bit different. Of course, taking you through the exact smaller things. But there, there, and... Do we copy it over? I think we do we'll do that one of them one of them that'll be all right even though they're different blocks we used to cobble there change it up a little bit that'll work maybe something like that it needs something over here nah that one's a bit too much getting rid of that Let's have a look now. You know what? I'm actually happy with that. We'll step back a bit further, have a look at it. And I've only done a fraction of this roof. You can see I've done that side and that side. The back is actually going to be a re like a repeat of what this looks like. And that side over there is going to be interesting, which we're going to have to touch on in the next episode when we do the full crane. And I'll quickly give you a, a thought of what I'm thinking about with the crane. And maybe you guys could help me out with this. I want that piece over there, which I've quite uh, inconveniently stepped away from. That piece over there is gonna raise up probably be to about that level there. Then we're gonna do an interesting base for the crane. It's gonna go up. And I'm thinking to make this build just a little bit more interesting than what I would have uh, would have expected. I would have probably gone up, pulled across there. But I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this crane angled. And that will make it a little bit more interesting. As I say, it'll also break up the view over here, picture this, we've got this building here, that there, and already I'm feeling this, I'm feeling like this looks really, really good. We've got a ship that's going to be docked in here as well, with its its sails going up, the crane coming over. I just think this whole area is going to be such an awesome area to look at from specifically this spot right over here. Just all this stuff going on, we've even going to have stuff going on over there. It's going to, just going to be really, really cool. Uh, but for today, guys, I think that will be the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. A little bit of something different, I guess, with the, the smaller details in this. And let me know what you guys, if you guys have at least gained anything from that. Or maybe if you guys want me to show a bit more of the small things. I always get asked uh, that, I was well, told that I skip a few too many things. So hopefully that's caught you guys up with a lot of my thinking along these builds. Uh, but thank you very, very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.